What up, YouTubies? It's your girl, Gucci. Um, so this video is just going to be an update on my weight loss and tips and stuff that I eat and do to, um, yeah, to lose weight. Duh. Okay, first things first. You guys are probably wondering how much weight did I lose my first week? Drum roll! 2.5 pounds. I'm sorry. When I weighed myself on Monday, I was pissed. Pissed. I worked my ass off. Worked my ass off, ate super healthy, was starving all day. <laughs> and I only lost 2.5 pounds. Um, I really, really was so, so mad at myself. Um, and I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not going to be like, yeah, it's a pound. It's a pound. No. When, um, Especially when you fall off on track and then you purposely make such a life-changing um just in your life you make life changes that are completely different than what you used to have you expect to get big, better results and that's probably my downfall I was expecting six pounds maybe but um needless to say I'm back on track I'm gonna just keep on going I think what I'm gonna do now though is not weigh myself every week because I don't want to be pissed off it really did piss me off so um I think maybe once a month because when I was eating healthy and exercising, I was feeling good and I thought I looked better without knowing what I actually lost. And then when I saw the numbers, it kind of took all that away from me. So I think that I'm just not going to focus on the number on the scale and I'll just weigh myself once a month. So that's going to be that. What I did do this past week um, is basically, like I said, I count calories and I write everything I eat down. Some of the tools that I use that help me are... Um, pretty cool and I'm gonna tell you guys what I use that helps me um, one of the things that I do use is a food scale I really like this one it's the sharper image I got it at Beth Bath and Beyond and it's just basically a food scale it tells you how much anything weighs um, this one was $30 I do have another one and it's the biggest loser brand and that cost me $20 um, the reason why I have two is because one I keep at work and then the other one I keep at home oh yeah so here's the price um, this is really good because um, sometimes you want to take snacks and if they're not the individual package snacks, you know, like the 100 calorie snacks, you really want to know what you're putting in your body. So I have these little Tupperwares, so I have like granola or I have um, dried cranberries, things like that that I weigh so I know exactly how many calories it has. So it's really good to have um, a scale. You don't necessarily have to get these, but these are the ones that I like and I prefer. I like digital stuff. Um, the other thing that I do use is um, in the morning I really love to have um, protein shakes. My favorite brand are Herbalife. Um, I love the cookies and cream and coffee latte flavored. A lot of people don't like the coffee latte one. Unless you like coffee, then no, don't go for that. Um, it's got 90 calories, 15 grams of protein, and I mix mine with skim milk, so that's another 90 calories for a total of 180 calories for breakfast. Um, I absolutely love this blender bottle. If you guys follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Gucci, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me, Makeup by Gucci. I post a bunch of pictures, and I'm being really good about taking pictures of what I eat and also describing exactly what's in it and how many calories are in it. Um, I found this bottle at Walmart. I had paid $6.88 for it. I loved it so much. I was at Target and bought another one. But at Walmart, it's way cheaper. Um, I paid six eighty eight at Walmart and Target. This cost me eight bucks. But um, I love it, especially if you love to drink shakes in the morning. It comes with a ball like this, just one ball, not a pair of balls, <laughs> just one ball. And you just—it's got um, how many ounces are here? Then once you put all your um, crap in there, you put that in there, close it, and you shake it. Now, if you really want a frothy, kind of like milkshake-y tasting protein shake, I suggest that you do all that and then place this in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. And um, when you take it out, your protein shake is so frothy. Um, I did that once. I did not like it because I don't like my stuff too thick. It just didn't taste good to me. I like it kind of to be like watered down because it's just easier to drink so um yeah but that's another thing that you can do it for and i absolutely love it and it doesn't have to be protein shakes you guys can do whatever you want and put it in here it doesn't spill it's easy to open and I'm, it's easy to open as i struggle it's brand new so um i really like it the other thing that i do um besides counting calories which is the most important thing i buy all of the organic stuff i buy the um organic eggs from the cage-free chickens 
Um, I buy organic milk, organic vegetables. I buy, um, you know, chicken sausage instead of beef turkey patties things like that healthier options of course um, as far as my exercise that I'm doing I'm going to the gym Monday through Friday and I work out between an hour to two hours every day um, what I like to do is really I focus on cardio because cardio is what's going to burn your fat and I really start I like to start off my um, workout with a run on the treadmill and I like to do interval training and interval training is basically you have your heart rate at a certain rate and then it goes up and then it goes back down it makes your heart work a little bit harder so you burn extra calories so what I like to do is I like to start with a five minute just walk like a warm-up and then I start um, like a brisk walk like a fast walking for two minutes and then I run for a minute two minutes walking run for a minute and two minutes not walking like oh you're chilling at the mall no you're walking fast so speed walking speed walking running speed walking running and I do that for 30 minutes usually three to five miles I can do a day after that I like to do the Stairmaster it's gonna help out the glutes it's gonna make your butt look like JLo Boricua <laughs> and um, I do that that shit kicks up my ass that girl that girl's a bitch I hate her and every time I leave her, she always wins because she leaves me all beaten and sweaty. I hate it, but um, it really burns so much calories. My legs, my thighs are burning, so I absolutely love what she does, but it just feels like shit. Um, I also like to do the elliptical with the hand one, like the gazelle. <laughs> and then um, I also like to do free weight stuff. I like to do the rowing machine. Um, I also I had a personal trainer, and he showed me a lot of tips on how to do free weights and just like um, using a step ladder and exercises like that. So I really like to get a good, good burn when I do work out. I don't go there to waste time. If you still look pretty when you leave the gym, you ain't doing shit right. Okay, because I'm not going to the gym to try to get hit on by somebody. I don't go in there with makeup. I go in there with my hat, with my hoodie, my iPod, and I'm there to work. So... I go in there looking like a hot mess and I leave. Oh, something got in my eye. And I leave looking like a hot mess and I don't care. I don't care. God, you see that? You see how I'm gonna start to cry right now? It's like my left eye is sad and my right eye is happy. <laughs> Anyways, um, one of the things that I do use that's, that helps me a lot is um, this. I have this heart rate monitor, heart rate monitor, I'm sorry. And it's by Mio. Um, I absolutely love this. This cost me like $150, but it was, I really took it as, um, as a, what's it called? As an investment because I use this every time I go work out. What I absolutely love about it is this is, tells you exactly how many calories you burn. It determines it on your age, your resting heart rate, and, um, your weight. Weight, age, and resting heart rate. So this is going to give you exact, exact, exact numbers of how many calories you burn when you go work out. Now, this one, I um, when you go to the machine, like, you know, with the treadmills, you can make it personalized. You can say how old you are, your weight, and then it'll tell you how many calories you burn. So that does work, too, because I did test it out. It was only 20 calories off. It, but you have to always keep on checking your heart rate, you know, touching those little metal things to know. Um, also, what you want to do is um, there's certain rates in your heart rate. So resting heart rate. A normal heart rate cardio max cardio I like to stay in the red zone max cardio my heart rate never drops from 155 and that's really really good because it's you're kicking my ass and um, this tells me exactly how many calories I burn so at the end of the day I usually have between a thousand to twelve hundred calories and then I subtract what I burn so then it shows me the number that I have so I think there was a couple of days when I had a deficit, like negative 100 or something, because I burned so many more calories than what I ate. Um, but I'm eating throughout the day. I'm not, I am starving myself because instead of having three servings, you're just having a regular serving. Um, so you are going to be hungry. That's the one thing you have to know. And I think I heard it from Dr. Oz, and I think JLo said it once in an interview about what her trainer told her. You have to go to bed feeling hungry. If you go to bed feeling stuffed, like you just had Thanksgiving dinner, then you're doing something wrong. You have to go home. Oh, that's my cell phone. When who's calling me? Um, but yeah, you have to go to bed hungry. You have to. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. And let me know. I love the feedback from you guys that you guys basically gave me tips on my fitness pal, the app. 
to store calories and I use that as well. I just like to write everything down too. Um, but let me know what you guys want to do, um, what you guys want to see as far as weight loss and anything else too. I'm getting a lot of requests for tutorials. I think I'm going to do one. It might be a long ass video though because I don't have editing. So you would literally just be watching me do my makeup. So. I'm thinking about doing that and then follow me on makeup by Gucci because I am giving away a NYX palette and I'm also giving away some earrings leopard print earrings um, and I'm just gonna give them out at the same time so once I hit a thousand subscribers a thousand followers on on Instagram I'm gonna go ahead and um, give those out so um, it's easy just follow makeup by Gucci follow me on Twitter she stays fresh like me on Facebook Makeup by Gucci. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it. So until then, dwelling, stay beautiful, stay fresh, and I'll see y'all when I see y'all.